Hello Aquarius and welcome to Blunt Saju Tarot. My name is Robin and Aquarius today we're just going to do a general reading baby. Let's talk about your aqua. Let's see what's going on. What's been going on. What's coming down the shoe. Let's see what messages we're passing along today. So we have yin. We have the feminine. We have no place like home. This is a very observant energy here. The yin is the feminine energy being observant, being intuitive, being a little bit passive and reflective. And no place like home is just knowing that home is where your heart is no matter where you go in life. Um, when you follow your heart, you'll never be led astray. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, Aquarius, let's talk about it. Let's get your moon card here. What's the cycle? A new start is coming. We got the new moon energy. Okay. So maybe you've been thinking about a new start. Your heart's kind of pushing you in a new direction here, Aquarius. We have a meeting. Okay. It could be a meeting with a business meeting, a friend, a family member. You could be buying a house, car, buying a condo, buying a trailer. Let's talk about this meeting. Let's see what's going on. It could be a meeting with the feminine energy that's going to create some kind of change here. Let's talk about you, Aquarius. Let's talk about you. And Aquarius, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, that link can be found in the description box below. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse, okay? We have the Four of Swords in reverse. We have the Star in reverse. Aquarius, you'd be upside down here. Oh, Two of Pentacles in reverse. We got a lot of upside down energy. There's Temperance. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Aquarius here. Um... Let's talk about it. Temperance could just be patience, balancing your feminine, your masculine energies, right? There's the masculine, there's the feminine. There's a, there's your offer. It could be from a Sagittarius. Let's talk about this, Aquarius. There's something going on here, something coming through, but with the Ten of Wands, um, you've been burdened. You've been through a journey here. You could be moving. <laughs> Maybe you are buying a house here. <laughs> we have a meeting, a house, and we have someone moving here. I mean, you may, what happened? Wow. Ten of Wands, Wheel of Fortune in the World. Whoa, no lay. This meeting is going to change your life. I'm not exaggerating. I'm being motherfucking serious. So the Knight of Wands is your passion. It's in pursuit of adventure, of excellence. Uh, it's a new adventure coming through. It could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or this opportunity is coming through um, that's going to bring a lot of passion and excitement into your life. Uh, I was going to call you Leo. Maybe you're dealing with the Leo Aquarius. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune, well, Knight of Wands is Leo energy too. So the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy, heavy emphasis on Sag, and there's the world. So a blessed new cycle coming through for you. After what I'm going to say here with the Ten of Wands, it's been a long journey. Um, but we have the Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords in reverse. So it's like you're getting what you want, and then there's some old stories, old belief system, limiting ideas, imposter syndrome, something coming through to bring some anxiety that they want you to release. So you're having a really nice opportunity here that's going to change a lot in your life, Leo. Or, again, I was going to follow you fucking Leo. Sorry, Aquarius. Um, that, that could affect your life, Aquarius. Some of you, I just feel like you're moving. You have an offer on your house, so you're buying your dream house here. Um, but for others of you, you know, it's just been a long journey to make this happen. You know, you're following your heart, following your mission, following your passion. Why is the Eight of Swords in reverse, though? What's this energy? That's an energy of, of, of holding on to old stories, limiting beliefs, needing to let go, not thinking it's going to work. Oh, no, they want you to focus on, okay, yeah, there's the Nine of Wands. So, uh, Aquarius, they want you to focus on the celebrating these successes instead of being worried about what might not go. This is an energy of worrying about what go, could go wrong. Um, and they want you to worry about what could go right. <laughs> so they want you to focus on the blessings and the positive. Stay positive. Stay focused. Look at this Knight of Wands driving right into that Three of Cups. This opportunity, this change, this transition is going to make you happy. You're going to have a lot to celebrate. So they don't, no, don't the worry, be happy now. Ooh. So with the Eight of Swords in reverse, it's just an energy of letting go of negative thoughts, worries, anxieties, fears. Um, the Four of Swords in reverse is a reminder to do what's best for you. Take a time out here, Aquarius. If you're overthinking things, if you're getting stressed out, if you're worried, if you've got anxiety, you got a lot in your plate, you know, especially if you're moving, let's say you're moving cross country. I'm about to move cross country. It's a lot. That's why I make sure I take time for myself because I get, I get really stressed. <laughs> fucking hate moving and maybe you do too here Aquarius but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do um but it's just a reminder that when you're overthinking when you're over analyzing when you're feeling blocked or stressed out take some time for yourself take some time to relax take a night off a weekend off go to a movie a baseball game whatever you like doing just take some time for yourself now let's talk about this because this is a lot of imbalance here in this uh, later part of your reading here star in reverse is you but the star in reverse is feeling hopeless it's feeling faithful lack of faith it's frustration and the two of pentacles in reverse is an imbalance. So why is Aquarius feeling this way? What is this energy here? Talk to us right now. Here's that eight of swords again. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Ten of pentacles. Holy shit. And the death. And there's the magician in I don't know. What the heck? The ace of wands in reverse. Okay, this is like a little um 
like a little cautionary tale here, Aqua. Cautionary tale here. So with the Magician in reverse and the Ace of Wands in reverse, with that Four of Swords in reverse, especially with this, with just with, okay, what they're saying here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. Um, you can't live your fullest potential if you got too much on your plate. So if you're overly stressed, overly thinking, over analyzing, sometimes it can give us analysis paralysis where nothing's happening because we're overthinking or we're overanalyzing or we're over anxious or we're just got way too much on our plate and we're stressed out. And this is an energy of continuing in that direction creates a lack of potential. You're not living up to your fullest potential. They really want you to let go of these limiting beliefs. I believe this eight of swords is an imposter syndrome or a limiting belief. This can't happen. This isn't going to happen. I'm not good enough. Yada, yada, yada. Hoo, ha, ha. Ding, dong. Walla, walla, bing, bang. They want you to let that go. Change your thought patterns here as you're going through this transition because it's leading you to the Ten of Pentacles, Aquarius. Look at this. This is harmony. This is balance. This is abundance. This is community. This is building a reputation, building a legacy. But this is upgrading from a pawn to a queen. You make your own moves, baby. You're taking control of your game, taking control of your life, and you're bringing in a lot of abundance. So the Ten of Pentacles doesn't mean richness all the time and money. It means abundance because it's a balance between material and spiritual pursuits, but it's a very strong card of discipline. You got to discipline your mind to discipline your actions, to discipline and get what you want. It all starts in your mind. So the whole point of the latter part of this is not to be worried, not to be anxious. You're following your heart. You're heading in the right direction. So know it and be confident because this change, this opportunity, this transition that you're making is like excellent. It's going to bring in your Ten of Pentacles, but there's the devil in reverse. There's still some, the devil for you, in my opinion, from this reading is negative thinking, overthinking, overanalyzing, or a, a limiting belief. Don't do it. Um, focus on the blessings, you know, because that puts you in a lack mentality, right, Aquarius? And when you're in a lack mentality, you're going to draw in more lack. And this opportunity is drawing in abundance. So you got to switch your uh, mentality to match that. So let go of any limiting beliefs. They're going to come through. Don't pretend they're not going to be that stupid. We're not, you know, sitting in the forest king, sing Kumbaya. You're human. Um, you're always going to have doubts, worries, insecurities, and fears. And that's okay. But it's your job to control them, to, 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 to guide them. Acknowledge them. Work through them. Release them. And focus on the blessings and focus on the positives. So focus on what you do want, not what you don't want, because it will limit your potential. Yeah, there's the king of swords in reverse. So they definitely want you to cut that out. Make the best decision for yourself here with the lovers. And that's to stay focused, stay positive, have confidence, and know that this opportunity that's being presented to you will change your life in an amazing way. But you got to think that way as well. So a new beginning is here for you here, Aqua. So let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot here. What's the spirit animal message here for Aquarius? Dragon. Passion. You're the dragon. You could be very related. You could be very, um, you could coincide with that. Very, very connected, excuse me, to the dragon energy. The dragon is a reminder of your strong will and fiery personality. It is a symbol of passion and fire, and you're being asked to practice self-control. <laughs> We're talking about the discipline and to be cautious so your passion doesn't lead you into trouble. Discipline that mind. All is the mind. And when you discipline the mind, you know, your life will change. <laughs> okay. Let's grab your career and life advice. I do feel for many of you, this is, you know, not love. So I'm just going to go right to career and advice. It could very well be love though. Um, what's the life and career advice here for Aquarius? Guidance. So divine forces are showing you the way. You are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in your life. Okay, and there's the bottom. So wisdom, you're called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way. Use your wisdom and experience. So definitely that could be why you're nervous and anxious. You could be jumping into a leadership, a, a mentorship role or in a role where you're influencing others. And that's a lot of responsibility, right? Come, you know, with that, uh, with that responsibility comes, you know, obligations to do the best that you can do, right? And that's a lot of pressure on somebody. Okay, uh, no, they're telling me to grab the energy oracle, so this message they want here, Aquarius, and then we'll get to the tarot. What's the energy oracle message here for uh, Aquarius? What you want to say, baby? What you want to say? Yeah, angel of love and a new journey. Oh, what's up with the broken heart here? The world, that's coming to an end. Again, the world with the broken heart, it's like negative thinking or worries or anxieties or fears or limiting beliefs are going to limit you. The world is a reminder that the world is your oyster. The world is in your hands. You can do anything you want to do, right, Aqua? You just need to believe. Like Eminem tells us in his, what's that, you know, eight mile soundtrack, you know, you can do anything you set your mind to, baby. You just got to know it. Um, we also have a lot of twos and nines. You could be related to 29, but then we have 29 and then we have 49 and 999 is abundance, but it also represents the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new. 
and two is making the choice to do that. But two plus two is four. So we have four, four, four. And four represents stability. Foundations, we have another four here. So a lot of found a lot of stability coming through, and it's because you love yourself. Angel of love represents loving yourself. When you love yourself, when you put yourself first, the universe will do the same. The journey represents a new journey. Some of you are definitely moving here. Like both of these cards have their, their, their stuff packed up and they're heading down a long path. Um, so Aquarius, some of you are making the decision here to move or a job offer has come through um, where you've got to move in order to, to create your dreams and make your dreams a reality. But really the whole purpose of this is when you love yourself, when you treat yourself the way you want to be treated, the universe will do the same and it creates a new cycle. It creates a new pattern. It brings new energies into your world because your frequency is higher. And when your frequency is higher, you're going to draw in more of an abundant frequency. Now, for those of you where this is a love story, where you're meeting somebody new and you're a little bit nervous, um, this represents a new journey in love, a new chapter in love. But I really feel for the majority of you, Aquarius, it's really about self-love, prioritizing yourself, putting yourself first, doing what's best for you. It's creating opportunities. And some of you might have to move away from your family and your friends. There's a very heavy um, energy about that here, too. Because of these transitions, I want to grab my Yeshua card. <laughs> then we'll get the potential outcome here. What's the Christ consciousness message here for Aquarius? Ah, purity, return to innocence, childlike energy. You know, the child, children don't worry, right? <laughs> children live in the moment, they live in the present, they have that innocence about them where they're just focused on the now and having fun and enjoying life. Um, and that's what this card is all about, is returning to that innocent energy and just enjoying life, living in the present. When you live in the present, it's a gift. Um, and that's what the card represents here, Aquarius. Instead of worrying, trust your intuition, trust the decisions you're making, and really enjoy this transition. Sometimes our worry can stop us from enjoying something beautiful in our life. Um, and that's a big theme of this reading here. All right, so let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make here, Aquarius. And when I say outcome, let's see how you're doing in a month. Let's see how things are going. Let's see how... Ah, we start with the Ten of Wands and we're still in the Ten of Wands energy here in a month. Okay. You have the Knight of Swords. There's you. There's you getting real serious here. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're very focused. Okay. Two more here. And we'll get into this. There's a King of Wands. Definitely could be doing the Oh, but there's a Six of Cups in reverse. Uh oh. And the Five of Pentacles. There's the Queen of Cups. And there's the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You're definitely letting go of something here. We'll, we'll get to this energy. What I feel here is you're turning your back on stress. So the Ten of Wands to the Knight of Swords is someone prioritizing, delegating, um, setting up boundaries, kind of prioritizing yourself, right? He's looking at his sword. This is the sword of truth. So you're just being honest with yourself, open with yourself. Um, I do feel you're delegating and prioritizing. If you have a lot in your plate, right? Create a task list, do one by one, one by one. But right now here, this energy is just someone very disciplined, someone on a mission. You're on a mission. Nothing's going to stop you here. So you're working hard, you got your head down, you're, you're you know, tackling your to-do list here, <laughs> Aquarius, and progressing forward. Like, let's say some of you are working or, and you're moving, right? Well, you got, a, you got logistics, you got where you're going to move, you need a new place, you need this, that, that, and the other thing. So I just feel this is very focused, very disciplined energy. But then we have this past projecting into the, into the future, we're going to find out. Six of Cups in reverse with the King of Wands, it's like a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or it just could be you and your masculine energy. But with the Six of Cups in reverse, there's a projection from the past here. What is this? Maybe someone from the past is coming back, or maybe it's an insecurity or a blockage here. Ah, that card fell. Hold on. What's this? What is this? Page of Cups. Oh, it's a person from the past actually coming back here. Okay, whoa. Whoa. In the sun. Okay. Someone's missing you here, Aqua. Could be the Sir sign, Source Virgo Capricorn. Um, there's, yeah, so someone, there's the Empress. <laughs> there's the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so you got a past person here, this little side story. Side story, coming back here, missing you. Um, their intuition, like, they're, they're, there's judgment in reverse, though. Whoa, Ten of Cups in reverse. So this person disappointed you, which is why the Six of Cups is in reverse. So as you're progressing forward here, as you're living your life, as you're doing your thing, you got a brooding, uh, a brooder. They're in the background thinking about you, focused about you, wanting you. Um, I don't think this has anything to do with this story. So whatever's going on here, whether this is love, I feel for a lot of you, this is business. You have either a friend, a family member, an ex-job, an ex-coworker, a lover, somebody from your past. This King of Wands here, someone who disappointed you here, Aquarius, is coming through to talk to you. Uh, what exactly is it that they want here from Aquarius? Um, what exactly is it that they want? Like, who is this person? What does Aquarius need to know? Why are they coming through? What do they want from Aquarius here? Who is this person? We want to know right now. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, someone is stuck on you. Oh, someone who knows. Hey, this is it. Okay. <laughs> the same cards came up. And there's the star. Or that's not the star. It's the minor arcana to the star. It's, um, it's, cancer, it's cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, but the star is Aquarius. It's dream come true, wish fulfillment. And there's the eight of pentacles. Okay. So for some of you, there's two things. This is someone who, this is like a boss or a coworker or a company who did not see your value, right? Then you go somewhere else and, and, and they now fucking see your value. I put these cards upside down, which is interesting. So they're recognizing your value now. So, but either way, um, you're, I think it's too little too late. My, I'm irritated, right? And when I read the cards, I feel what you're feeling. So you're kind of irritated. It's like, oh yeah, too little too late. What the fuck? You had me back there. Look at all the stress you caused me here. So someone who didn't see your value, Aquarius, someone who didn't recognize your value, someone who may have been judgmental or critical, or um, they just didn't treat you like the empress or the emperor that you are. They're coming back because they're realizing that they made a mistake, right? They passed you over. They passed you up. They overlooked you, whatever the fuck they did. They're just realizing that was a mistake here. Uh, they're recognizing your hard work. They're recognizing your diligence. They're recognizing your, um, again, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know why I'm at a loss for words. Um, I don't say value and skill. So someone is stuck on you here and they recognize that they didn't treat you like the empress and they regret that. And now that you're shining somewhere else, then now that you're doing great somewhere else, they're like, oh shit, I regret that. So now I'm going to, now I see and recognize the value, but, but it's too little too late. That could be part of the burdens too, as well as trying to deal with this person from the past coming back here, but you don't care. And, and when I say you don't care, I just, it's just you're focused in other areas. It's not a priority for you. They overlooked you. They didn't treat you like the empress, whatever they did. That's their mistake. Their loss, their problem, not yours. So you're just focusing on yourself, staying disciplined, moving towards your goals. And this king is just going to have to watch you. <laughs> They're going to have to watch you progress, watch you rise. And that's nothing that they can do. That's their deal. That's something that they will have to deal with on their own time. They're not going to make it your problem. So Aquarius, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. <laughs> so Aquarius, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Aquarius. I always appreciate your support. So thank you so much. And let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no. What's the answer for Aquarius? Are you ready? Yes. That's what I have, Aqua. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.